Welcome to the break of dawn. Welcome to the break of dawn. Welcome to Miami. Oh, me, me, I, me, I, me. Still the baddest in the damn thing change. Yeah. Okay. I meant to do that. I meant to have been doing that, but I forgot to do it, child. Sometimes I forget. Um, never mind the clothes hanging around. I know it looked ghetto, child, but they had to dry it. Y'all. Life, child. Real life. Thug life. Hood life. Just like this show. Okay. So, Love and Hip Hop, me, Ami, darling. Okay, um, let me see. So, we meet a new character. Her name is Hood Brat. She's from the Pork and Bean Projects. Um, I love some good pork and beans. Um, pork and beans and winnies. Mm-hmm. And, um, she, I like her, honestly. I like her. She she's perfect for Miami. She's perfect for the show. Um, she looks like she can be in the tribe of Joy and Nikki Naturals. Um, I'm loving. I'm loving the fact that there are all these chocolate girls on the cast now. Um, I appreciate that. I do. When other franchises, it's not necessarily that way. Um, so I, I definitely uh, appreciate that Miami is bringing the chocolate out in the uh, moments. Uh huh. So we meet her, and um, Trina said that she don't have to audition for her tour. Trina's putting together a tour, and um, she already know the hood brat got it. Hood brat gonna do it. Hood brat is the baddest in this real. Never heard hood brat's music. I'll listen to it, but from the little bit I've seen, I like it. You know. Mm hmm. And she seems unproblematic too, so, which I definitely love. Um, so yeah, they also talked about Nikki Naturals. Hood Brat and Nikki Naturals are friends. Um, and so Trina told uh, Hood Brat that Nikki Naturals showed her ass, at, um, showed her natural ass at um, her you know, little showcase for the auditions. And she is. Hood Brat is good for reality TV. Hood Brat is, not Hood Brat. Um, Nikki Natural's trick girlfriend, little boy, little girl. Um, she is good for reality TV. She is adorable. She is hilarious, but she is out of control. And her mouth is crazy. Really is. Um, let me see. So moving on from that. So we meet a new character. He's a main cast member as well as Hood Brat. We meet the three other main cast members, which is Sukiana, Hood Brat, and Briscoe. Um, so, you know, we, did we meet, we might have met Briscoe last week, anyway. So, um, we meet, uh, 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 we meet again, Briscoe, um, and Briscoe kind of got a thing for Joy, Joy for Noise. So, she shows up, she all excited, she's talking about, oh, this is a bougie place, I went not expect to go here. And she showed up, you know, in that, uh, one piece, wow, tiger suit moment it was cute it was nasty um and you know he showed up looking like he was you know just just came out the door you know it was early in the morning just a white tea and just like just well at least he knew that he was going to this kind of restaurant he's just still dressed just you know all right so um they started talking and um he said that he always kind of had a thing for joy and um but because she was off limits because um she was with Trick Daddy, and she's still with Trick Daddy. I don't think Joy ever gonna get that divorce with Trick. Bless her heart. What a petty man he is. Um, and you know, so they was talking about that, and she all excited, giggling. Um, Briscoe was definitely getting a different reaction from Joy than Chaotic did last season. Um, I was just like, child, they're probably the same type of dude. Chaotic is just out in the open about who he is. You know what he is as soon as you see him coming. Briscoe just undercover with his. But we'll see. Um, so, you know, they were talking and somehow it got on Nikki Naturals. And Briscoe said that he uh, messed around with Nikki Naturals. Now, Joy was trying to get the tea. She was just like, well, did you have sex with her? Like, what's going on? He was just like, nah, we kicked it. I was like, okay, but what kind of kick it? Do you mean kick it? Or do you mean, you know, kicked it? You know, text, you know, hung out, took one date, whatever. And he never confirmed anything. He never said she did or not. But he alluded to the fact that they may have had sex. 
So I was like, okay. Um, so next we see Trick Daddy. He uh, invites Joyful Noise over. And um, then he calls Nikki to come downstairs. Trick Daddy's always cooking and the food be looking so good. I, I, I really do want to eat at um, Trick Daddy's restaurant. In fact, I'll probably go to his house and eat. I just can't look at him too long. Because um, I feel like I'll turn into some. But um, I would love to eat his food. Trick Daddy looks like he can throw Dan. Because I think she he had some kind of pot pie situation for Joyful Noise. And some scrimps um, sprinkled on top of that thing. And I was just like, ooh. That thing looked good. So anyway, um, Joy looked like she was a little shocked that he invited Nikki Naturals down now. And um, so, they went down there talking. Nikki was off the bat just coming for Joy. So Joy, what you doing here? And they, she was just like, um, I was invited, and you know, um, so it was like, what's your issue? Like, you know, Trina was hating on me. The thing was swayed anyway. The crowd was swayed. Like, when nobody even there for me got to y'all. The show was like, well, Trina asked you to do another song, and you didn't want to do another song. And she was like, no, it don't matter. Just you know, shout out all this kind of stuff. Ain't nobody there for me. And Trick was just like, you playing the victim. And she was just like, I know you was with Joy and for Joy any damn way. Y'all to the autumn. Child, Trick got irritated. Joy got irritated. Trick threw Sis out. Um, and plus, Joy brought up the whole thing about Briscoe. About him allegedly cheating with um, Nikki Naturals. Why is it her name? There's nothing natural about her. I mean, you know, I'm sure her body and her face and everything is real. But that hair ain't natural. So when I think of Nikki Naturals, I think of hair. Natural hair. That's what I think of. But I mean, whatever. So, um, you know, uh, he ended up putting her out. She <laughs> doing all kind of stuff outside, and and uh, Joe was just like, "Child, you gonna go get her?" And uh, Trick was just like, "Child, I ain't think about her." And Joe was just like, "Well, this is my business. My name's still on the deed. I'm still a part of this his life." And it's a weird thing. It's super weird. I if I was Nikki Naturals, I wouldn't even want to be bothered. But she wanted to be bothered because it's Trick Daddy to get her name out there. Um, that's all it is. Just to get a little clout. Because she ain't sleeping with him. And I don't blame her. So, um, you know. I don't know. But uh, you can't be going around cussing everybody out and burning all your bridges. Nikki Naturals before you even make a bridge. Girl. You ain't even got a ramp. And you sitting around here pissing everybody in Miami off. Oh. It's not smart, sweetheart. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Before um Nikki Natural was left out, she called uh Joy Florida James Evans. I screamed. Hilarious. Okay. Um Let me see, let me see. So there was a scene with Amada and her boyfriend, which is Shay's brother. And um, you know, they're talking. He wants to he's in this rush to have kids. You know, as a society, you know, once we get a certain age, we are taught that we are supposed to do this, we are supposed to do that, we are supposed to be this, we are supposed to be that, and you know, maybe he's, and I think they're both still young, but he want kids, he talking about kids. Amada was just like, child, my money kind of funny. I ain't about to have no kids by you, and, and you know, not for nothing, she didn't say this, but she doesn't even know how long he's going to be around, so why even bother? But then she also brought the fact brought up the fact that her uh, manager is not um, too fond of her having kids either. Um, the good old Julian child, the scammer of twenty twenty, allegedly. Um, so you know he that kind of was ticking off in his mind as well. And we're gonna find out another reason later on. Um, well, I'll just go ahead and talk about it now. It was a. Um, he also brought up the fact that one night Julian was drunk as a cooler brown and he tried to sneak in um in Amada's bed and, and show her that he invented sex like Trey Songs. So I don't know, Amada then nothing happened. Amada stopped it. Amada told um the boyfriend about it. And of course that's another reason why he don't really care for Julian naturally. Um so yeah, but I don't blame Amada. Be a smart girl. Get your career. Get your life before you want to sit down and be somebody's mama. Because you got to sit all the way down. 
and all that popping and clapping and all that she do across the stage. Mm-mm. I'm not saying she still can't do it, but you know, only Cardi B do that kind of foolish. Just pussy popping on stage and nine months pregnant. But yeah, okay. So um, let me see. So we meet Sukiana. I've been knowing Sukiana from Instagram. Um, interesting looking girl. We also meet Miami Tip. Um, she's back on this season as well. Was she ever a cast member, like a full time cast member? Or was she just a friend to the show? I don't think she was ever a full time cast member, but you know, she was on there heavy last season. She's on there this season a little bit. She's just a, a B character, a friend to the show. She's friends with Prima Donna and Sukiana and, um, of course, Trina. And, you know, she's going to dibble and dabble in. Sukiana in Miami tip um, is what you would call an interesting beauty. Interesting um, looking girls, for sure. So, um, Sukiana, she was around, um, she, she was doing another Instagram video. She was uh, around, I guess, it was like old white men playing bingo or something. She was acting a fool, talking about who want to be my sugar daddy, who want me, and all this just, <sighs> God, attention, I don't know. Um, and, and so we see Chaotic, her and Chaotic are friends, they both clowns, that makes sense. Um... And, you know, then that's when we meet uh, Miami Tip. And, you know, Sukiyana, she just want to make a name for herself. I didn't know she had three kids, though. Um, is she even 25 yet, Sukiyana? I don't think so. Wow. She's been busy. Bless her heart. What a role model. Okay, moving on. Um, let me see. Jocelyn had a scene where she was doing some little dry twerk with her dude. Um, and he's just infatuated with her because if he wouldn't be, she would whoop his ass probably. And, um, you know, and, and she, I hate that crunchy ass blonde wig Jocelyn had on. It was so crunchy. Anyway, um, Jocelyn has this issue with Prima Donna. I'm like, Jocelyn, you ain't been on TV in I don't know how long. And you came all the way back to be on Love & Hip Hop. Just to have an issue with the least interesting person on the show, Prima Donna. I like Prima Donna. No shade. She seemed cool. She really do seem like a cool girl. But, I mean, Prima Donna ain't getting no camera time. And I'm just like, so that's the person you chose to have a beef with, Jocelyn? We don't care. We don't. And, and honestly, we missed you on reality TV. But, I mean, we still made it without you because, you know. Life goes on. So. Oh God. And, and the beef seems very one sided. Prima Donna ain't said nothing about you girl. I mean whatever you mad at. That she said years ago. Get over it. I mean really. She called you Coca I mean allegedly this was what you was doing right. Y'all remember that scene when she was in the studio just shouting, saying all kinds of crazy stuff? I don't know. I mean, I do. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Let me see. So, Hood Brat and Nikki Naturals, they meet up. Um, they're talking, and Nikki Naturals, she done had a hard day. <laughs> Knowing that she is the reason for her hardships. Uh, most of the reason. And uh, they talking, and she was just like, "Child, trick put me out." And you know, Hoodbat was telling her, "Why don't you give um, Trick a little, um, a little tang?" And she was just like, "Child, I sleep with the ugly man." And um, she was like, "No, I'm just, you know, I'm a saved woman. I'm a Christian woman. Are you?" I've never quite seen a Christian look like you, Nikki Daniels. But okay, I mean, it could be. All right, all right. So, um, you know, just being silly. Okay, so they're at, where are they at? they at somewhere. Anyway, the whole cast is together. Um, Sukiana meets Prima Donna and, um, and, you know, the girls are sitting down, uh, talking. They all sit beside, um, um, Amada and tell her to twerk for Jesus and Amada was just like, Ooh child, the ghetto, get me out of here. 
Um, and she and her man went off and, and went over and left them hood girls wherever they was. Um, and so, well, next week we're going to see Sukiyana and um, Shay get into it. But, you know, that's not unlikely because Shay gets into it, everybody. Uh, so let me see, what else happened? Oh, um, Hood Brett went over to ask, uh, this was all at the party situation, I think, by the way. Um, when I just told you that Hood Brad and, and um, Nikki Naturals was at the bar. So anyway, Nikki Naturals, she went to go talk to Briscoe about what Joy said. That he said that he allegedly slept with her. He was playing stupid the whole time. Y'all know how men do sometimes. Um, he was just like, she was like, so did you sleep with me? Did you tell Joy that you slept with me? He was like, what? I said that we was cool. I said we kicked it. He was like, but did you slept with me though? It was a long pause. He didn't say nothing. Joe was getting ready to walk off. And then he finally said, no, no, no. We didn't sleep together. We didn't sleep together. Nikki, if I was you, I wouldn't deal with um, on a friend level, I guess. Y'all didn't sleep together, whatever. Even if y'all did, so what? I wouldn't deal with Briscoe no more. Nikki Naturals and Joe, you's a fool if you deal with um, Briscoe as well. Because if you think that Briscoe won't one day do you the same way he doing Nikki Naturals. You're a clown, sis. You too old for that. So I would even he plays games. Clearly he's childish and petty and, and why even be bothered? But you know, Joy looked like she liked Briscoe regardless. So we're gonna move on. Uh let me see, let me see. So Amara and her man are talking, then here comes Shay. Shay comes in, hey brother. And Amada was just like, hey, sister. Shay was just like, don't call me that. <laughs> Shay's so petty. Shay, Shay finds you a man. That's what you do. So um, Shay, you know, she talked to Amada. It was just like, well, the streets are saying, sister, that, um, you know, uh, you try to get back with Jojo. And let me tell you, I'm not trying to tell you what to do as an adult. Um, but if you be friends with her, I'm not going to be friends with you no more. Basically, that's what she said. Amara was just like, I'm grown. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm, 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 I don't hate the girl. I'm not trying to be friends with her. If you listen to me, and you know, Shay, she, you know, Shay, um, she didn't let the girl talk. She had Shay was over talking and just giving the girls that real good old flavor of love, charm, school foolishness that she's come that she comes from. She comes from that show, those tribes, and um, it it was just ridiculous. So. Um, you know, Amada, she ended up sitting down, child, and she was over it. She ended up getting a drink at the bar, child. So then, um, all of a sudden, oh, also, um, Trina had a scene with Julian. Julian explained himself. He printed out some off Google and tried to use it as a receipt. And, um, Trina still didn't buy it. Trina said that she was mainly hurt. By the fact that um, they've been knowing each other for years and years. And he didn't even say, I apologize um, about the fact that you lost your mom. Um, and I, you know, I can imagine that's what hurt her the most. But um, we still didn't get a clear answer on whether it's true or not. Julian did that to Trina. Um, I wouldn't trust him. But I mean, what are you going to do? You know, um, so Julian comes up. Um, Amada and her man are, are sent down. And then um, Amada's man, I keep forgetting his name. Is it MJ? Maybe. He um, tells Amada to go fix herself a drink or something because me and old boy has to talk. And Amada, she didn't want to get up. She was just like, oh Lord, what's going on? Um, so Amada gets up, very apprehensive. And um, MJ, he was just like, yo, you know, I really want to have a child with Amada. Um, but she wants to be at a certain place in her career, a certain financial stability that she wants. And um, you are the reason as to why that's not necessarily happening right now. Because sometimes she gets paid, sometimes she don't. You know, sometimes she happy, sometimes she not. And we all know that Amada, like most of us are happy when the motherfucking coins are coming in. Okay. So um she was just like the the the, the checks are very far few in between. He excuse me. 
Um, so Julian was just like, "Look, I understand what you're saying, and then you don't. Do you understand the place I met her? When I met her, you wasn't even in the picture. And to be honest, you just a boyfriend, so it ain't even your place to talk." I said, "Ooh, Julian got a nasty attitude. You hear me? He's a nasty somebody." Um, and and uh, you know, like I said earlier, um, MJ was still upset because, you know, Amada told him in confidence about that Julian tried to sleep in her bed and, and, and show him, show her that uh, he invented sex, you know. So, um, you know, he that was still a chip on his shoulder as well. But then, Julian gonna say out of his mouth, oh, you want kids? Oh, ain't no kids. I told her straight up, ain't no kids. Hell no. No babies at all. I was like, Wow. So is Ju so is Amada looking for a father figure in Julian or what is it? She really looks up to Julian, not saying that he is the total reason as to why she don't want kids. But I'm sure he definitely got in her head. That's what scammers do. They're they're quick on their feet. They're scammers. They've been doing that for years. It's mind control. Mm-hmm. Um so they got up like they was getting ready to fight. It was getting ready to get real ugly. And you know, then we have a Amada over here talking to um, Prima Donna, in which Jocelyn says Prima Piggy, and Jocelyn, that's not funny. Uh, who told Jocelyn that was funny? I would laugh if it was funny, but it's not funny. Um, but it looked like next week she's gonna bring her a live pig. Now that's gonna be funny. But calling her Prima Piggy, that's that's not funny, Jocelyn. Then you can barely speak English anyway, so you just look ridiculous. Um, so. Anyway, uh, Amada, she get ready to pass out and hit the flow. Her flow, her fro was over there on the other side of the room. Child, somebody snatched her fro, and um, it, it's just a mess. It's a mess. Um, I, I really do feel bad for Amada because I really do think that that Julia guy's full of shit. I really do. But bless her heart. I hope our um, favorite Afro Latina um, is 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 cool. I really do. She's a super talented woman. She is. Um, but anyway, that was Love and Hip Hop Miami. Y'all stay tuned for Love and Hip Hop New York. I might actually film that like later on tonight or tomorrow, actually. So I got some things um that I have to get done. Anyway. But that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Is Kings World on Instagram and Twitter. At Is Kings World 89 on Snapchat. Chess King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later.